there guys, my name is Chris Shadong, Snowball and Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we've got some more footer pictures for the brand new codenamed Time Traveller Extreme Spinning Coaster coming to Plopsland Japan in 2021. Now you're probably thinking first of all, where's the funny intros gone from yesterday with the coaster nature and the Thorpe Jungle with David Attenborough? I learned that you don't have to have a comedy intro every time. The entertainment could be the talking. You know, <laughs> so some days there may be a comedy intro, sometimes there may not be. Some days there could be entertainment within the chat that we're talking about today. You never know. Uh, but, you know, entertainment could be anywhere in the video, not just the intro, not just the outro or anything like that. So, you know, just stick around for your entertainment. We're going to have a general chat about this project and about all the other updates coming up. And we're going to be talking about them. So, Obviously, please like the video if you've loved it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to the channel. Please click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in. We've got plenty more questions coming in, I'm sure, for our next Q&A video for when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers. We're nearly at 1,700 subs. We're getting closer and closer every day. And for now, guys, big shout-out to Thorax Changeling. You Leave your shout-outs in the comments down below for the next video as well. And let's get into this video. So, our good friends, Plopster Updates, have been sending over some footer pictures from a couple of days ago on Time Travel, the codenamed Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster, coming to Plopster on Japan in 2021. Now, we're going to be sharing them. We're going to be sharing the stats of the ride. For those of you who are new to the channel, have no idea what I'm talking about. And we're going to share my thoughts on the footer progress. And hopefully, I'm going to talk about track eviction. So, let's talk about this project. So, Codename Time Traveller is a Mac Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster coming to Plopsland Japan in Belgium in 2021. Now, we do have another update coming uh, later on from Wakala at Bellavade, but more on that in that video. Uh, now, of course, the length of this coaster, for those of you who missed the last update, is 3,018.4 feet. It has a height of 108.3 feet, a speed of 55.9 miles per hour. It also has five inversions. Now, when you compare that to the stats of Time Traveller at Silver Dollar City, uh, it is slightly shorter than Time Traveller. It's definitely higher than Time Traveller. It is definitely uh, faster than Silver Dollar City's Time Traveller. And in terms of inversions, it does have more inversions. So it is the most inverting. It's the highest and it's the fastest. So it's the tallest and fastest extreme spinning coaster in the world. Now those footer pictures that are already whizzing about on your screen... Uh, show some very cool updates. Now, footer work has been continuing and construction has really picked up the pace on the site of this coaster. Uh, there's been footers work spotted uh, near the Super Splash. There's been footer work around the little uh, family area with the, the purple and yellow and the sort of mushroom huts, uh, which is like the little family kind of area. Um, there's been footer work around the back of there. So this, uh, you can tell it's a pretty long coaster. It might not be as long as the original Time Traveller from Silver Dollar City, which is the prototype extreme spinning coaster. However, definitely a lot of footer work going on. Now, we've reported on footer work before, quite a few weeks ago now. Uh, and we didn't get another update until a couple of days ago when this when Plopsort Updates sent them over. Big shout out to Plopsort Updates for sending those updates over and continue to do your awesome work from home in Belgium. Now, talking about that footer work then, now we need to start making a guess on track eviction. When will track go on site? I think in the next few weeks. I think between three or four week time frame, I think Matt will send that track over. Now, obviously this could be dented with, of course, the COVID crisis. However, with Germany and Belgium not really being the most affected countries, obviously they're going to keep the measures in place that are around, around Europe, around the UK, around the rest of the world. They're going to keep these measures in place, but I think as Germany and Belgium are the most affected countries right now, I think they can keep the measures in place, but still continue the work. So I think there's a potentially could be three or four weeks until the track is coming on site. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean all the footers have been completed, but definitely from the looks of it, most of them have been completed. Obviously, we saw the image uh, from the last update uh, near Super Splash and the footers around the lake area. We know that footer work's been completed. And now from these images, you see uh, that we've got some more footer work around the back and around the other 
pretty much the other side of the uh, attraction site uh, and you can see that all areas of the all sides of the area have been covered with footers so I'm sure there's not many footers to go now I'm, I'm probably going to be guessing and correct me if I'm wrong those of you who've seen the part recently I'm guessing around 70 to 75 percent minimum have been completed uh, so there's still that little extra 20 25 percent to go uh, or 25 30 percent to go uh, so it's pretty much nearly completed, but it's around three quarters of the way there I think there's still the last quarter to go in my opinion uh, So obviously hopefully in the next few weeks after that we'll see uh, Tracks start to come on site. We'll get to start this build uh, and hopefully with the right restrictions in place next year Because don't forget this virus is going to affect us next year as well on the on the you know rebound and the aftermath uh, 2020 you know, I think we're going to, with the right measures in place, we're going to see this open for the spring or the summer of 2021. Uh, so there's quite a lot of projects opening in 2021. Some of them, if not most of them, are delayed 2020 projects. But there are new 2021 projects. The Groenland Invert, this new coaster, um, obviously uh, World Belgium's Hypercoaster, the footwork for that still going ahead, the groundwork for that still going ahead. Obviously in the UK, we've got Old Towers delaying their 2020 project. Polton's Park with the same thing. Probably thought Parker Chessington will do the same thing. So, uh, maybe Chessington not. But I think because the rainforest kind of opened in like the, the pre-weekend for like the pass holders. Uh, with like the preview. I do think that maybe Chessington will just focus on the drop tower for 2021. And just open the rainforest with the rest of the park. Uh, so I think that's the way forward. Same with Elmer's Flying Jumbos. Again, that'll probably open with the park. Uh, but there are still 2020 projects that have been delayed till 2021. So 2021's even bigger than originally planned because of this virus delaying 2020 projects until 2021. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this construction update on Plop Sander Pan's new Extreme Spinning Ghost. So like I said, around about 70 to 75% of the footers, in my opinion, are in place. But now it's just that extra 25 to 30 percent to go before we start to see track coming on site or track being made in the map factory and getting shipped out to belgium but thank you very much guys for watching please like comment subscribe keep your questions coming in keep your shout outs coming in and for now guys my name is coach chell keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day